a warm welcome to all the participants and audience present here. As it is rightly said, lend a hand to one another in the daily toil of life. When we meet a weaker brother, let us help him in the strife. I am Navya Agarwal, grade 7 student, robotics enthusiast and inventor. Before I talk about the Medibel, let me share with you a personal story. Ever since my childhood, I have always been afraid of doctors and hospitals, in spite of the fact that both my parents are doctors. It was nearly about two years back that my favourite uncle developed a large size brain tumour and had to be operated for the same. Much to my distress, I was made to visit him in the hospital, not once but multiple times. Although I sat beside his bed, but I just couldn't bear to look at his bandaged head. I would always keep my gaze low at the bed and would observe the various attachments to it. That's when I first noticed a call bell on his bed, connected by a wire to the console behind his bed. This call bell was meant to call the nurse or the ward boy in case of any requirement. While observing this contraption, I came to realize how clumsy it was and would often fall off the bed and thus would be unreachable to my uncle. I also realized that sometimes it would get inadvertently pressed as he was turning on the bed and would just get the nurse running to his room only to realize that it was a false alarm. This entire process got me thinking that there definitely could be a better way for the patient to call the nurse. Suddenly, an idea struck me. I was already in my second year robotics, working with various motion sensors. I thought, why not use some of these motion sensors to create a wearable call bell that could be worn by the patient as a finger glove and it would be an easier and a faster method for the patient to call the nurse. Thus, the Medibel was born. Wearable Medibel is a wireless device that can be worn by the patient as a finger glove and it replaces the conventional wired bell. It can be coded using a flex sensor to indicate for nurse call, the food or the water call or any other such requirement giving it several advantages over the conventional wired call bell, where the nursing attendants actually had to go to the patient's room to inquire about the patient's requirement. It also helps in decreasing the manpower cost in hospital settings, which in turn helps to lower the patient's bill. So friends, wearable Medibel is a very simple but tiny device which only consists of two parts. Firstly, the wearable finger glove and secondly, the flex sensor. Using this, you can code for many variable inputs. The heart of the machine is a nano computer, which is called as the Arduino Nano. So friends, whenever the patient bends his finger to various degrees, it in turn bends the flex sensor and the impulse is converted into an output at the nursing station, thus informing the nurse about the patient's requirement. Friends, when I first proposed the idea of the Medibel to one of my doctor uncles, he questioned me whether it was worth its cost or not. That's when I started my active survey for collecting data. I surveyed both the medical as well as the paramedical staff on the healthcare giver side as well as the healthcare receiver side, that is the admitted patients. The survey threw up some surprising results. The healthcare scenario in India was wanting in every way. The ideal nurses to patient ratio in the ICU should be 1 is to 2 and in the normal wards it should be 1 is to 4. But in India, 
the ratio in the ICU was 1 is to 5 and in the normal wards it was 1 is to 10. The situation was even worse in the government hospitals and the municipality setups. According to WHO, India faces a shortage of over 6 million nurses in all. The consequence of this was the poor response time of the nurse to the patients. Friends, do you know, sometimes the patient had to wait up to half an hour till the nurse came and attended to his requirement. So friends, in my survey, three broad groups of people were questioned. First of all, the elderly people who were very happy with the working of the Medibel as previously they were just neglected as they had become chronic patients. Friends, in this graph you can see that the patients are not very comfortable and happy with the old call bell but they are finding my new Medibel very convenient. Secondly, the paramedical staff was surveyed and they were also very happy with the Medibel due to the reduced number of trips to the patient's bedside. Friends, in this graph you can see that using the old call bell, the nurse sometimes took up to 10 minutes to reach the patient's room. But using my Medibel, the nurse only took 2 to 3 minutes. The third group of people who were surveyed were the doctors. In this graph we can see that using my Medibel, the doctors were very comfortable and convenient as now they could manage double the number of patients using less manpower. Now the cost factor. From the patient's point of view, the cost factor also decreased which was a boon to them. Friends, this survey made me realize that there was a huge demand of my Medibel with all its advantages. It also made me realize that now the nurse would be able to manage the patient's requirement in just one trip as she would already know what the patient wanted. This way, one nurse could manage double the number of patients which would be a boon to the Indian healthcare scenario. Friends, I haven't still stopped here. I am still working on some future enhancements to improve the efficiency of my Medibelt. In the future, the finger movement can be coded as finger flexion to indicate for nurse call, the food or the water call or any other such emergency. As the Medibel comes into bulk production, the cost also massively decreases and it can be extended to a large group of people including the government hospitals as well as the small home based setups. Well, my journey with Medibel has definitely helped me overcome my hospital fright. I never knew that some robotics and a pinch of medicine would be so beneficial and would assist the bedridden in such a convenient way. I feel ecstatic that my small but tiny device was a wonder help to the bedridden. Thank you.